This is catalog number 3445. She is a North Atlantic right whale, one of only 500 individuals remaining of this endangered species. She was first seen as a newborn swimming with her mother off the coast of Florida in 2003. Scientific observers who monitor the whales recorded 3445 on two other occasions as she made the annual journey from the calving grounds off the southeast coast of the U.S. to the Bay of Fundy, where right whales feed. On December 3, 2005, she was spotted with fishing rope wrapped around her body and flippers. 400 feet of rope trailed behind her, with three buoys attached to the end of the line. The extent of her injuries and sighting records indicated she may have been carrying gear for as long as 300 days. Tragically, entanglements in fishing gear are common in North Atlantic right and other large whale species. Over a thousand years of hunting in the North Atlantic brought the right whale in this ocean to near extinction. Since they've been protected, which happened in the early 1930s, uh, the population has been slowly recovering, but it's still endangered by entanglements in fishing gear and collisions with ships. We have seen scars caused by fishing rope on more than 80% of North Atlantic right whales and our analysis indicates that most individuals have been entangled more than once. And the problem may be getting worse. Over time, the percentage of whales seen with gear wrapped around their bodies and the severity of the injuries has increased. A major challenge researchers face is that so little is known about the nature of these entanglements. In the vast ocean, these encounters are rarely observed. It is also difficult or impossible to conduct tests on fishing gear with whales because of the risk they would pose to the whales. How to address these large whale entanglement problems is the focus of the Consortium for Wildlife Bycatch Reduction. The consortium is a group of scientists and fishermen that have come together to find practical solutions to marine bycatch issues. The consortium believes that insights about entanglements can be gained by studying whales observed carrying gear and examining the ropes involved. We have analyzed 51 cases of right and humpback whales that were entangled in fishing gear. This is the case study of 3445's entanglement. We have collected information on her life history, the severity of her injuries, the configuration of the entanglement, and the type of gear involved using photographs, observations from disentanglement attempts, and gear retrieved from the whale. Learning more about how she became entangled in the lines can suggest how fishermen might modify their gear to make it less risky to whales. Using this information, the consortium is developing a new tool to investigate whale entanglements, a computer model that can run various entanglement scenarios. The simulator uses an anatomically precise rendering of a North Atlantic right whale. It incorporates accurate engineering principles and properties to recreate entanglement events. Here is a simulation of number 3445's entanglement in lobster gear. Lobster gear is composed of traps that sit at the bottom attached to vertical lines that are held up by buoys at the surface. The entanglement simulation shows how a slack line made it possible for the line to wrap around the whale after initial contact with the flipper. This scenario suggests that if flippers are frequently the first point of contact in whale entanglements, fishermen might increase the tension of their ropes so that on contact with a whale they are more likely to slide free than entangle. This computer simulation model is built to allow anyone to test various gear configurations, mitigation strategies, and whale behavior scenarios. Fishermen, scientists, gear designers, and students can manipulate the model using a video game style controller. Number 3445 was disentangled on December 12, 2005, after carrying fishing gear for up to 300 days. A disentanglement team was able to remove all of the fishing gear from her body. Observers sighted her alive once more shortly after. Sadly, 
She has not been seen since 2006 and is presumed dead. It is likely that the entanglement injuries contributed to her death. Entanglements are a serious threat to the survival of the right whale, and the best solution is to prevent or reduce the risk of entanglements. Disentanglement teams can't always locate entangled whales. Some drown while anchored to gear. Even if the whales are located, the teams can't always remove all the fishing gear. Using the computer model, the consortium will better understand how whale entanglements occur and have a tool that can be used to test new types of gear that can reduce the risk of fishing gear to whales. For more information on whale entanglements and other bycatch issues, go to www.bycatch.org or find us on Twitter at bycatch.org. Thank you.